So here we're going to be discussing adjusting gains. Of course, we've set the knob so that you'll be able to adjust the gain in flight. And now what we're going to do is adjust the gains that are appropriate or the gain range that's appropriate by utilizing the knob. So go to forward programming again. Um, and you know, you guys may have seen this. In order to access forward programming, you need to hit throttle cut, go to gyro settings, and then AS3X settings, and then you'll see AS3X gains. And tap on that, and now you'll see the roll, pitch, and yaw gains. So the values that you see are preset at 40, 50, and 60. So what those represent, if I take this knob and rotate the knob fully clockwise, I get 40% roll, I get 50% pitch, and 60% yaw. And for most aircraft, that's probably not a bad place to start. Of course, what's gonna happen is, um, on your first flight, you're gonna start with this knob turned all the way counterclockwise, so the gains are gonna be off. You're gonna take the airplane off and you're gonna fly it around. You, know, you may do a little bit of last minute trimming, and then you're gonna fly the airplane at a fairly, you know, a reasonably safe height at near full throttle, three quarters to full throttle, and then you're gonna increase or turn the gain clockwise by utilizing this knob. And you're gonna increase and increase and increase the gain um, until you see oscillation. So now when the oscillation, um, we have some videos um, that will pop in here that show what oscillation looks like. It's a real fast, rapid oscillation. Another way to test this is um, aggressively do uh, you know, aileron input if you're gonna check roll and let the stick immediately come back to center and watch how the airplane stops. Same thing with pitch, same thing with yaw. So you're looking for an aggressive maneuver, release the stick, and how the airplane stops. So if it bounces, if it comes you know, back, um, or you know, in worst case scenario, it never stops oscillating. So you, know, you give a stick input, it oscillates, oscillates, and never recovers, that would mean the gain's too high. Now, the neat thing about having adjustable gain is that it allows the modeler to tune the airplane to their particular preferences. So while some people prefer to have the gain turned up to the maximum, which gives maximum stability, it generally also gives a bit of a harsh um, stop um, when you release the stick. Also, some people say that they feel like the airplane doesn't fly as naturally. So there's a very wide range of acceptability where you still have good stability. An awful lot of people prefer to turn the gain down significantly from that maximum point to turn it down to a point where the airplane still has good stability. Um, you know, you flick the stick and it comes back to center. It just has a nice soft stop, um, but you still have great stability. You know, it still corrects for wind, for wind gusts, and on landing approach, it still stays straight. So um, the neat thing about having this adjusted to a knob is you can try all those settings in flight. So um, that's how it works. So like I said, with most airplanes, 40, 50, and 60 is a good place to start. If you know, that's not high enough, you go into here. And of course this says flight mode one because only flight, we haven't activated flight mode. So this is the only flight mode that's available. It's called flight mode one. But you know, if, if you need to, you can adjust these up or down. Um, of course, by adjusting it down, you're gonna reduce the total gain. And essentially you can turn it off by rotating the knob anyway. So in any case, go ahead and adjust those and tune it in flight using the knob and uh, that's how you set up the gains.